first thing that I do before winding down is I will usually finish up any task that I have to do on my laptop that can be editing, planning, whatever it is that I have to do on this day. And this particular day I was working on a vlog and I was just editing that, but that varies from day to day. And then after that, I went and got some dinner. I had prepared this lentil pasta casserole beforehand, and I just had that. And meal prepping is something I try to do more often because I feel like it really helps when I'm short on time. And I don't want to eat super late, but I still want to keep it nutritious. And then usually I like winding down by watching a vlog. Currently I'm into watching any sort of lifestyle vlog. I find them really relaxing, but at the same time inspiring. And then for dessert, I usually just have some dark chocolate. I like to eat 90% dark chocolate and this time I had it with peanut butter or any sort of nut butter is good. You should really give it a try. It's a really good quick dessert. And then I stretch and do some yoga just to allow my body to slow down. And I just choose a random 10 to 15 minute flow on YouTube. And I set up my room nicely with some candles. And I just like to do gentle stretches and calm movements because I really feel like it helps me to wind down, especially when I just worked, just to get into that calm mindset and to do something good for my body at the end of the day. Lately, I've also been really into lighting incense because I feel like they actually really elevate the energy of the room and have something so calming and alongside with the candles, it's just such a cozy vibe. So I highly recommend you trying out some incense. And for my sleep quality, I like to open my window beforehand and I also leave it open during the night because I just feel like my sleep quality is better when the room is a little bit colder. I love having tea before bed. It is so soothing and lately I've been using this turmeric chai tea from Yogi Tea and you can make golden milk out of it. So. I usually just add some oat milk and yeah, Yogi Tea is just my favorite tea brand because there's these little quotes that come with it. So just really cute vibe. And then to wind down some more, I will watch some more YouTube or if I have a good book, I will just read a book. Lately, I'm into any sort of beach surf lifestyle content. So I just watch anything that has to do with living by the beach and surfing and then finally i do my skincare so first i put my hairband on to you know get my hair out of the way and then i take off all my makeup i use this makeup remover oil that works pretty well And once my face is all clean, I use a cleanser from Formal Skin, which is basically personalized skincare where you work with dermatologists and they find fitting skincare for you. And it's kind of like Curology, if you're familiar with Curology. This is my whole skincare routine, usually in the evening. First I cleanse and then I use the personalized skincare. And then lastly, I just use their moisturizer. And I found that over the years, less is more when it comes to skincare. And this is the one that has worked the best for me. I've tried a lot of different skincare brands and stuff like that, but this one is what stuck for me. And I feel like a skincare routine is good, not only for your skin, but for me personally, it helps to give me a sense of routine when I do my skincare at night and in the morning. Are gonna go my way. I'm gonna let the 
and then I will just brush my teeth and take off my contact lenses and put on my glasses. And I usually fill my water bottle all the way at night so that I have a full bottle of water next to me first thing in the morning. And I know it's better not to use your phone before going to bed, but I've been trying to learn a little bit of Portuguese, so I practice that around like 10 minutes before going to bed. And then sometimes I will listen to some ASMR just to like fall asleep to. And yeah, that's my current night routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and see you next time.